Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to test a couple of different methods to see how to paint vinyl windows the right way. I'm also going to show you a cool trick for those grids inside the glass. So stick around. This video is part of a kitchen makeover that I've been working on for quite a while already. I have several videos in the playlist showing the improvements in this space. My goal is to bring industrial, rustic and modern design concepts together in harmony. I have a few more things to do before I'm done with this kitchen makeover. I'm going to leave you a link to my playlist at the end of this video if you're interested in seeing the progress. Today I'm painting this vinyl window as well as this door and also this door in black to get them look more industrial. Doors are wooden so they are simple to paint. My focus will be on this vinyl window. That's going to be more tricky. That's because the surface is smooth and shiny and paint will not stick to it. I want to test how much the sanding prior to painting will make a difference. I'll only sand these two surfaces and not the rest. I'm planning to change this window this summer. It's not a good window so I don't really mind if I mess it up as its condition can't get worse anyways. As I said earlier, only these two sides getting sanded. I have 220 grit sanding disc. I will apply just a light force only to roughen up the surface. No need to go crazy. Once done sanding, wipe it down with a wet rag and I also use my brush to remove any dust or dirt might be in between the frames. I'm also testing two different bonding primers here. This is sticks, bonds to hard to coat surfaces and the other one is kills. I already have both of them at home, their look may be changed now. I'm going to leave the list of products I've used in the description below. Now let's get to priming. Sticks will be applied on the whole window frame except one side where I test kills. Both of the primers I'm using today, they are specifically made for shiny surfaces. They are not just regular primers. It's important to note that. Now it's time to test kills. I will know the difference when I start painting. Priming is done. This is a custom made paint. I duplicated Anderson Windows Black. I put the formula for you on the left. It's a soft black, not a jet black, and it looks much better on doors and windows. Now let's get to painting. I started with sanded and sticks applied surface. And seems like paint is sticking very nicely. Now I'm painting the surface that hasn't been sanded and to be honest there isn't any difference between sanded and non-sanded surfaces. Let's test here sanded and primed with skills. I feel slight difference in paint application. Feels like it grabs the paint better but not a huge difference. In the meantime on the right side you see me painting the wood door. Once I finish up painting the first coat, I will show you what to do with these white grids inside the windows. First coat is done and it's pretty good for the first coat. I see the white showing through very slightly, not too bad. I'm sure second coat will cover that up. Where the kills applied, less white is showing through. But the difference is not that significant. I still see some white showing through. Overall, looks pretty good already. 
send it or not send it didn't make any difference. Now I will show you how to hide these. With an electrical tape, that's right, it will hide them perfectly. Just make sure to apply them on a straight line. They have to look as straight as an arrow. If you watch this far, please hit the like button for me and drop me a comment if you have any questions or just want to say hi. I respond to all and I'm very happy to hear from you guys. All done. I've got two coats of paint and it all looks uniform. I don't think sanding made any difference and two primers I used had the same effect at the end. I am very much pleased with the results. I might even postpone changing this window this summer. You can't even tell this is vinyl. Grids are looking good. So the verdict is you definitely need a primer that sticks to shiny surfaces and don't need to sand before painting. Unless you want to, it won't hurt if you do. In the meantime, I painted this door as well and it looks amazing. This is done as well, which took me the longest time because of those grids. Still have to paint the moldings and the walls, but looks amazing already. Thank you for watching and here is the playlist for my kitchen makeover. Don't forget to check them out. I appreciate the support and I will see you soon. Bye!